Mr. Speaker. As I, in my experience, the people of the Baha'i faith, you could not find a more gentle and more engaging people, and they bear their persecution with great forbearance. There is a terrible humanitarian crisis, persecution of members of the Baha'i faith. On the 2nd of January, a judge in Sana'a, Yemen, sentenced the Baha'i, Mr. Hamid Ben Haidara, to death. The chances are great that the circumstances will intensify. The case of Mr. Ben Haidara is part of a systematic refusal by Houthis. We are troubled by reports of harassment and detention of members of the Baha'i community in Yemen. To be persecuted from the start and to have it persistently thrust upon them for over one and a half centuries is a miserable aspect. The Baha'i international community is extremely concerned for the safety of all Baha'is in Yemen following the Houthi prosecutor's baseless allegations against a member of its community who is appealing his death sentence. Hamid bin Hedara has been detained since 2013 and will face his appeal hearing on 30th April 2019 in Houthi-controlled Sana'a. Despite calls by the international community to cease persecution and release the Baha'i prisoners, the prosecutor has outlined a series of false and irrelevant accusations against Mr. Hedara, the Yemeni Baha'i community, and the Baha'i faith itself. These tactics are precisely the same as those that are used by the Iranian authorities in their persecutions of the Iranian Baha'i community. The Baha'is of Yemen have long sought to contribute to the life of their country, yet they have been handed out death sentences and false allegations. We appeal to the good conscience of the judge and trust that he will have high regard for justice and the rule of law, and therefore not give credence to the prosecutor's absurd allegations.